Hi, I'm Emily or MX Food on YouTube and a lot of my videos center around study motivation and study tips as well. So here's the thing, you can get addicted to studying like I did. I know it may sound unconvincing, but it's true. With the right mixture of methods, tips, and materials, you can soon find yourself loving something that you would have never thought you would enjoy before. As somebody who once found studying to be really, really boring, I now study as much as I can because I found the excitement. So this video can help you find that excitement as well through the tips that I'll share. Let's just get right into the video where I'll tell you the secret into getting addicted to studying. So what's the main secret? Let me first ask you a few questions. Do you know what works for you and doesn't work for you? Do you know what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy? To be a little more specific, when do you like studying at the moment? Or when do you prefer to study? Also, where do you like to study? And what does your perfect study environment look like? How much time do you wanna study for? And what amount of time do you normally study for at the moment? Do you prefer studying digitally or on paper? Are there any study habits right now that you have that you would really like to eliminate? Or are there any study habits that you would like to implement? And what can you overall do to make studying more enjoyable? I know I didn't give you a specific secret just yet though. Instead, I asked you a few questions. And of course, I did that for a reason. I had to show you the importance of your position when it comes to studying. You're the person who is doing the hard work. So don't you want to make studying most suitable for yourself? It's important for you to get to know yourself when it comes to your academics in order to take it to the next level. So I guess I did give you the secret. That secret is you having to do what works best for you. If you're a little confused, I'll just highlight the question, what can you eliminate from your current study habits or what can you implement into your study habits right now? There are many things that you can not control in life but you may have some control over your study habits. If you can, take away the ones that don't suit you and replace them with better ones. For example, if you procrastinate often but you just can't handle the stress and pressure anymore, try to study earlier than you usually do. Try to utilize a planner or a calendar, whichever one you prefer, so you can see how much free time you have beforehand to do some work. Make sure to actually use that free time though to get some work done so you have a less chance of procrastinating later. The habit won't go away immediately, but as long as you try, you're making more progress every single day. So knowing that of yourself of how you might not like procrastinating can help you get to the next level of taking away that habit and enjoying studying more as you may feel less stress and less pressure as well that comes with procrastinating. Moreover, if you don't know how to answer any of the questions that I ask or you just don't know where to start, try looking around you for some inspiration. Across different platforms, there are many creators that focus their content on studying or motivation or anything that you might be looking for. So try looking on Instagram or YouTube to find those study content creators in order to gain that inspiration or motivation that you are looking for. And also don't be afraid to try new things as they may be better than you expect. I also want to remind you that some methods won't work for you and that's completely okay. There is some trial and error when you're trying to find the best study method for yourself or trying to find something new. But once you find the most suitable method, studying will soon turn addicting. Your methods don't have to be carbon copies of other people's methods either. You can always change up the set ones in order to make it best suitable for yourself as that is what we're aiming for. If you wonder what study method I suggest using, I 100% suggest using flashcards. I'm currently learning French and so far on my language learning journey, flashcards have helped me so much. I've also once asked myself those questions that I mentioned earlier in this video and I found out that the best way for me to study is when it is effective and also easy. When I'm able to study efficiently enough to feel confident in topics, I find studying so enjoyable because I actually get the content that I'm learning. Recently, I've been using an app that follows what I look for in studying, which is efficient and easy. Anki Pro meets the criteria that fits my study habits. This app allows me to easily create and use flashcards as well. Right when I get a new vocabulary sheet in French class, I immediately make a new set on AnkiPro. I have AnkiPro both on my phone and my desktop browser, and this way I can use it as any time that I need to on the devices that I use the most. Something else that I've learned by asking myself the question, what does it work for me, is that I don't like having a load of information just thrown at me at once. 
When I'm studying, I just like to have it in bits and intervals. OcuPro has four different learning methods. Those four algorithms though include general space repetition, study languages, study medicine, and just general overall. Obviously for French, I choose the study languages algorithm as that is what best fits the language learning process. Space repetition is a method where you review materials in intervals. For example, I may have 100 flashcards in my set, but for a certain amount of time, I only need to study 40 of them. I can then choose what I want to see different cards again. So for example, if there's a term that I am pretty familiar with, such as un pamplemousse, I will choose to see that term again in about four days. But if there's another term that I don't really know, then I will choose to see it later on, such as in a few hours. This way, the terms that I don't really know, I can see them more often versus the ones that I already know. I can just see them later on, since I won't need to review them as much as I have to review the other ones. Through AccuPro study languages algorithm, I've been able to remember words that I thought I would have forgotten by now, because I see them again and again through space repetition. Besides for French, I also use OcuPro for other classes such as history and English. If you aren't really into intervals or those bits by bits of studying like I am through space repetition, you can also just use OcuPro's general algorithm as I mentioned earlier as one of the four. This algorithm allows you to study as many cards as you want for as long as you want as well. So that just shows an example of how important it is for you to also find what works best for you. It may not be flashcards and it may be something different, but that's completely okay as long as it works in your favor. Once you discover the methods, tips, or materials that make studying so enjoyable, you will find yourself more inclined to study often. Additionally, here are some more tricks that follow the idea of making studying work the best for yourself and maybe some other tricks that don't really fit in that area as well. First off, staying organized is super, super important. Like I said earlier, keep a planner with you or use a calendar. Also, to-do lists are super helpful to keep you organized as you can keep all your assignments and tasks under your control. Staying organized can decrease your stress while also helping you making sure you get all of your assignments and tasks done on time. It'll also keep you alert for upcoming assignments so they won't be any surprise to you. Additionally, romanticize the studying process. There are many ways to do this. For example, you can create those flashcards, try creating new cute notes, having a drink with you like water, or tea, or coffee, and also listening to some music that makes you very excited to study. You can also try changing up your study locations, such as going from your room to your living room or going to a library, a cafe. Personally for me though, the music part helps me romanticize studying so well. So try putting on some music, brown noise, or anything that can help you stay focused. Remember that you are fortunate enough to gain knowledge in numerous ways. Let's approach that fact in a loving manner. Lastly, I have to say that it is super, super, super important to take breaks. Whenever you need a break or you feel like you need it, just take it. If you're tired or hungry or you just need your mind to relax a little bit, don't be afraid to pause your studies. Breaks are so important, if not just as important as the studying part itself. So in all, a crucial part of having a studying addiction is how you view and carry out your study habits. Find what you like, what you enjoy, what works best for you, and just find what makes your perfect study environment in order to make it more enjoyable, such as using flashcards, taking more notes, or working at a different location, you can see and find studying something to look forward to.